Hi, this is I'm Ipa Cannon again, and today we're going to talk about how to set up an autoresponder feature with eye contact. We're going to learn how to uh, create a form script that you can add to your uh, website so you can capture uh, people's opt in information. In order to do that, you need to have an account with eye contact. Once you have an account set up with eye contact, just log into your account. The first thing that you need to do when you um, want to set up a new form is you want to create the list that you want that form to fill. In order to create a list, you're going to click on My Contacts. You're going to click on Create a List. And we're going to begin by entering the name of that distribution list. This is something that may be visible to your clients um, if they choose to unsubscribe. So you want to make sure that this list is indicative of what it is for so they can relate to it. The description is for your purposes only so you can add whatever you want to here. Um, once somebody opts into your uh, form, you want to uh, set this up so that it sends them an automatic welcome email. So you're going to check the um, send a welcome email via a sign up form and that's how people are going to enroll on this particular list. I always like to receive notifications on when people get added and, subs and subscribed to my distribution list. So I recommend that you do the same thing so that you can see the system working. And to do that you just click on notifications. If you scroll to the bottom here, you will see an option to complete an email subject, and this is what your um, subscribers will see. I recommend that you use something that identifies the opt-in list that they just subscribed to. This is something very generic. I would put the name of your business or the name of the product that they just subscribed to instead so that they can identify with your list. As you can see here, the content of your of your email has an HTML editor so that you can make this whatever you would like it to be. What I recommend in order to make that spaced correctly is to create the content of that email in a notepad um, type of um, software and then copy and paste the email just as you would like for it to appear into this box here and then copy it again into the text version of your email here. Eye contact requires that you send an HTML version and a text version. If you don't have a notepad software or not notepad um, application that you can uh, create your emails, it doesn't matter. You can just create the email in HTML here, use the editor, uh, preview it to make sure that it looks like however you want it to show, and then click on copy text and it'll automatically copy the information over to the text version. I recommend that if you do it that way that you go through the text version and you space it correctly. Sometimes it tends to crunch it up and you want to make sure that your emails look professionally spaced. Once you're done uh, with the content of your welcome email, just click on the first Save Blue button that you see. And your distribution list has been created. And I'll go ahead and create the sign up form through which your subscribers are going to be added to that list. And you go to the bottom of your screen and click on the blue button that says Create a New Sign Up Form. These are the default colors for your form, but you can change these to whatever you want them to be. You can select a different border color for your form, a different background color, and even a different font color. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to leave it as a standard and click on the next button here. Okay, now it's going to ask you to give it a name. So you want to give it a name that you're going to recognize. And this is for your purposes, personal purposes only. And then if you have more than one distribution list set up, you're just going to scroll down until you find the one that you want um, that opt-in form to complete as people are adding their emails to it. And then you want to elect the fields that you want people to complete. I always select email, first name, and phone. I make the email, obviously it's always required. I make the first name require and I leave the phone optional by not clicking on the box. I always like to make the first name the first field that they see and the email the second so you can change that order as you like. 
name first, email second just seems to flow a little bit easier for people. Um, you can leave everything else as is. If you do have a place that you want to send people to after they opt in, go ahead and enter the URL of that website here, such as a thank you page within your website or maybe a different product page, etc. You can leave this blank in the system. We'll just give them a generic default thank you page that tells them that they have been subscribed to your list. When you're done, select in your fields, click on save. And what you're going to receive is two scripts. The first script, form script, is the automatic sign up form that the system recommends. If you do not have any HTML experience, I recommend that you simply copy and paste the script right into your website and you're ready. Just publish the website and people can start subscribing through your form. If you do have some HTML um, background and you know what you're doing, then you can copy the second one instead. The second one just gives you a little bit more flexibility as far as the look and feel of your form. You can make the HTML changes of your form right on your website. However, if you should go back to eye contact to make any changes to that form, let's say you add a field, maybe you now want to collect the last name or something of that nature. If you use the second uh, manual sign up form, the changes that you make will not be automatically added to your form. So you'll have to code it correctly or recreate the form and recopy the script from scratch. Alternatively, if you use the first one, then obviously it'll automatically add the fields for you and you'll be set. When you're done creating those two, uh, when you're done creating your form and selecting which form script you want to use, you're ready to go. Just copy paste it into the place in your website in the HTML code where you want that form to appear and uh, publish your website and you're set. That's all for autoresponders and how to set up a quick form to begin a distribution list. I hope this was beneficial to you and we'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye-bye for now.